a new sampler for stable fusion promises to fix hands and weird limbs. Well, not like this one here. This is just, you know, it's weirdish, but it's five fingers. It's working. It's not three arms. Let's see if their claim is sound. Hey, did you know I know a lot of dad jokes? I keep them all in my database. And if you look at the comparisons here, we have a couple of samplers, we have a couple of different seeds. We have my face covering uh, the bottom right here, but that doesn't matter because we actually can see the hand here. So we have Euler A, we have Euler's Mia, we have Euler's Mia Die. I don't even know how to pronounce that. We have DPM plus plus 2M SD Hoin, and we have DDIM and DPM plus plus 2M. We have three different seeds that I picked at random. And looking at the Euler A here, we kind of see that the first one here is, you know, it's okay-ish. This one's pretty bad. This one's not even a hand. This one's bad. And uh, diving into the, the new ones here, you have this Mia and this Mia die. And the first one here is actually a pretty good. We have five fingers. This one is, we have finger separation, but we have only four fingers. And this uh, other seed here, we have five fingers in this one. That's pretty good. This one is a little warped. This one has five fingers and it seems to be correct amount of fingers here, four and a thumb hiding behind there. And then the last one we have, uh, actually for both of them, we have the proper amount of fingers. It seems one, two, three, four, oh, maybe in this one down here in the second hand is not optimal, but uh, in this one it seems to have proper fingers. We have, well, some good finger separation as well. There's some, those two are connecting there, but that's uh, that's pretty good. And some of the other old samplers, we're getting, you know, a little inconsistent results. We have good results here from this seed and DDIM, this and DPM plus was 2M, which is um, generally my favorite sampler, uh, this one with the Keras. We have good finger separation, but uh, in this case, we have six fingers. In this case, we have five fingers. This one, I mean, the, the pointing finger there, that's pretty good. But this one is broken. The waving here is, well, I'd say it's okay -ish. needs some fixing, but uh, it's okay. So what we're looking at today is Euler Smia SMEA DIN sampler. So this sampler is a sampling method based on Euler's approach. This is kind of funny. I used to say Euler, and then people said, oh, it's pronounced Euler. Now when I say Euler, people say, oh, it's pronounced Euler. So you guys be the judge. Anyway, approach designed to generate superior imagery. Then superior imagery in what way? Well, it says it can significantly mitigate the structural and limb collapse that occurs when generating large images. And to a great extent, it can produce superior hand depictions. Not perfect, but better than existing sampling methods. So that's what we looked at here. We looked at some hands. Now this is not uh, a different uh, resolution. This is just a square 512 by 512. But it says it's also able to, uh, well, be better at limb separation, limb collapses, stuff like that. So we're going to generate some other types of images in a second. And it says it performs well in uh, SD 1.5, but the effects are not as pronounced in SD Excel. And the Euler DI is approximately equivalent to Euler A, while the SMIA DI sampler will consume more computational resources, approximately 1.25 times more. You know, good to be aware of. So how do you get this installed? Well, it will probably be available soon in your Automatic 11.11. If you don't have it and you updated it to the latest one, you can check this one and it's available in the link description. It is the advanced Euler sampler extension. You click here, you click copy URL to clipboard, you go into your stable fusion, you go into extensions, you go to install from URL, you put the URL here and you press install. Then you go into the install tab and you press apply and restart UI. Once that is done and you have your automatic 11.11 at least to version 1.8, you will see the new world sampling methods here. So it's as simple as just selecting that and generating an image. Now, if you want to do something like I did here and you do a comparison, you need to check out the XYZ plot and that is available in the scripts. So if you find script down here, and you select the XYZ plot, then you can select here. I put the X type sampler and I put a lot of the samplers in here. 
and for the y type i put in seed so i can have these rows here if you just want one row you don't need to put y type seed here now let's make a comparison with the larger images so a general issue in stable fusion is if you're generating an image let's say that we're doing um something like this and you're not using a high res fix you're just using a kind of you know large height or you know something that's not a square or close to a square you're going to be able to see like weird limbs stuff like that multiple heads whatever so let's try this at random and uh, let's generate i'll catch up with you as soon as this has finished so looking at the comparison here uh, actually most of our images turned out okay-ish i think we're gonna try actually a, a, a wide resolution instead to make sure that uh, we see some more broken limbs multiple heads stuff like that so i'm gonna change this to let's actually do a pretty large one here let's do like 1400 by 800 something random here it's it's big okay so now we're talking here uh, let me actually get this open like this so I can zoom in a little bit. So now you're going to see what I'm talking about. So in Euler array here, we have this one, looks pretty good. This one, we have two arms, not great. And in this one down here, we actually have a Kentor, sort of a man uh, together with a horse. So um, yeah, I don't know what's going on there. Creepy stuff for sure. Uh, then we're going to dig into the uh, Smea ones and we have actually... Apart from this one, which has two characters, we have people that look okay in uh, most of the generations. So they look like they're supposed to be in that scene. Their hands are, uh, I would say, mostly okay. This one's a little broken, uh, kind of needs uh, some AD tailor on the face as well. But in general, you know, we're closer to uh, the correct amount of fingers that, that we want. This probably needs to, to run through a, a high-res fix. Uh, and again, the AD tailor was just looking at the general vibe of the image and hands. It's okay. And then going back to the others who have two MSDE. Uh, here we have some weird animals. This one's okay. We actually have like two people in this. This one's kind of merging. See, you know, whatever this is an animal and you know the leg going into that you know we're, we're into weird territory now again also with the dim this is kind of all out of place it just doesn't fit into the scene very well except for maybe your two bottom ones are okay-ish and this top one to the right here is well, semi-okay there's however more going on in these scenes than these these are more uh, simple in nature which kind of is a big big difference here now I am using an embedding I am using um, very bad image negative so we can actually remove this and we can try again we're gonna change the seeds just to something else we're gonna put nine I'm gonna put this to just add a couple of random numbers here and we generate this again and see if the results are consistent so I also added uh, the default negative styles to try to, to mitigate uh, the weird limbs going on here and as you can see from the results most of them are actually you know okay-ish there are not a lot of weird limbs around anymore um, and again you can clearly see a huge difference in the visual style of these new ones compared to you know what was available previously before in the oil ray here we didn't even get a man here we got a man the fingers are kind of broken here we got two people fingers are broken in these ones we are actually not able to see if the fingers are okay they're kind of small and too far away uh, we're probably going to run a test after this with high risk fix and see if we can uh, correct this and uh, also maybe an a detailer to, to look at the hands uh, but in general you can clearly see that there's like a difference but with the default negatives that correct some of the uh, limbs we're getting more correct people in the other samplers but these images aren't great what if you want to do weird dimensions and um, still get the people looking right well i usually do a high risk fix uh, so what i do is let's say that we put this to 512 and this to maybe more 768 we can high risk fix this it's gonna go to 1536 by 1024 this number here we're actually gonna remove the seed here now this is gonna take a little bit longer to generate and we're also gonna 
drop some of the samplers so we can keep the new ones and we're also gonna keep let's keep all these four so we have uh, oiler a two new ones and dpm plus plus two msd hoin i'm also gonna add the a detailer i'm gonna add the face i'm also gonna add the at a detailer on the hand i'm not i'm not gonna use uh, any other settings than the default settings for that let's uh, generate this and i'll get back to you in a second uh, we got some results here they aren't looking amazing uh, i mean the oiler a here except for the hand it's kind of an okay image this one's kind of okay too but the new ones uh, didn't really work here let's try and add back in the textual inversion here i'm going to remove the style i'm going to change the prompt into woman waving i'm just going to slap an anime style on top of that and we're going to try a, a new generation here looking at the results here we can again see a clear change in the smear models so uh, we need to consider how we use them clearly not everything works the same way that it used to the hand in the oiler a here is broken we actually got lucky with uh, the sde hoin here so that hand works so both of those hands work pretty well it shows promise not in this particular example but looking some of some of the other um comparisons we did earlier we got some good results with the hands in the 512 by 512 we got some better um, limbs in some of the examples where some people just turned into kentars in the other samplers so you know we'll see it's still in development uh, hopefully we get some uh, dpm versions of these uh, smia die samplers soon let me know what you think in the comments below and uh, did you find any settings that worked flawless for you let me know. As always, have a good one and I'll see you in the next video. See ya.